What's up? George from Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. We're here in our studio on this bright and sunny day. Only, this is all fake. There's no sunlight and no windows. That's why our video team lead, Kevin, created this illusion. So in this video, we're gonna teach you how to fake natural sunlight indoors for cheap. Kevin, how did you get this look? To achieve this look, you're just gonna need two things. A large white diffuser you can get for less than $5, which is just a white fabric, and a strong light source. Ding, ding. So what we're trying to emulate here is sunlight on an overcast day. On an overcast day, the lighting's not harsh and there aren't any harsh shadows. So the whole point of this setup is the lights act as the sun and this white diffuses evenly across so that there's no harsh points in lighting. So as you can see, this white sheet kind of softens the shadows a bit and the light is soft here. So the lights we use, I'm gonna show you right here. These are LED lights. They have to be LED because LEDs don't heat up as much. If you use lights that heat up, it's gonna burn the sheet or maybe tint it a little orange. And also you don't wanna burn your house down. Number two is you want all your lights, if you use more than one light, to be the same color temperature because mixed colors won't make that believable look of natural light. So we use lights that are professional lighting for um, filming a bunch of other things, but you can get LED lights with the same quality and same output from like Amazon or any hardware store. Amazon? Isn't that in Brazil? Now just set the light up where you imagine your window to be. Once you turn it on, it'll be way too strong and harsh. That's where these white sheets or shower curtains come in. All you have to do is place it in front of the light source and make it a wide area and adjust the distance depending on the size of your room. So make sure your white cloth is wide enough to spread evenly across your room because that's how the clouds would interact with the sun to spread its sunlight evenly across. You can control the look with the thickness of this white sheet. This will determine the softness or harshness of your light and shadows. Now the thicker it is, the softer your light will be, but the thinner it is, the harsher the light and shadows. One last thing, once you've lit your room, adjust the color temperature in your camera to either 5600 Kelvin or 3400 Kelvin to match the temperature of your light. So this technique is super helpful if you want to keep your lighting consistent. So if you rely on the sun, the sun changes its direction and harshness and color throughout the entire day. So use this technique if you want to keep your videos look consistent. Thanks for the tips, Kevin. I'm going to be sure to use this in my next vlog. Sick. Hope these lighting tips make your videos look even more exciting. If you need a powerful and simple editing solution for them, you can try Filmora free by clicking the link in the description box below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.